next, but we're going to start with some breaking news on the Capitol. There is a, a Jewish group holding a protest uh, inside, uh, inside the office building there uh, where Jay O'Brien is just outside the Capitol. Jay, what's going on behind you? Yeah, guys, the U.S. Capitol is a big complex, so where we're standing is an office building just off of the Capitol. It's where members of Congress have their offices, and this is where the press sets up their cameras. And this is what came just about a half hour ago, a little bit less. You can see demonstrators, actually, Greg, at the tip of my finger there, starting to get removed now by U.S. Capitol Police. These are just the second round of demonstrators that we've seen forcibly removed. Another group was occupying this place where I'm standing at the moment just a, a, not long ago, and Capitol Police removed them because this is where the press sets up their cameras. There were actually some, because they refused to move, were dragged out of here. This is, again, a group that say on the back of their shirts, uh, shirts excuse me, Jews say ceasefire now. There's another sign. You can't see it. It's a little catty corner there that says, let Gaza live. It obviously comes in the midst of that ongoing war between Israel and Hamas. It also comes, as you guys mentioned, during a very tense time politically here in the Capitol as Republicans are struggling to pick their next Speaker of the House. And there is pressure on Republicans, they say, to get it done quickly because of ongoing turmoil in the Middle East. And certainly now, this development today on what was already a packed political day here at the Capitol. Mm. Well, Jay, definitely uh, stick around. We will get back to you a little uh, later in the program. Hi everyone, George Stephanopoulos here. Thanks for checking out the ABC News YouTube channel. If you'd like to get more videos, show highlights, and watch live event coverage, click on the right over here to subscribe to our channel. And don't forget to download the ABC News app for breaking news alerts. Thanks for watching.